Live One Co community, are you a career enthusiast on an accelerated path to the top? Do you want to be promoted to the manager role, like tomorrow? Well, maybe not necessarily tomorrow, but the very next time the opportunity comes along. We're going to tell you exactly what you need to do to position yourself now so you can be at the top of the list in the next candidate pool selection. Before we share with you this valuable information, please do us a huge favor. Hit the like button below on this video right now to help our growing channel. Okay, let's get into what you're here for. Pay attention closely. You may even want to turn up the volume a little higher on this one or put this on replay. We want to make sure this invaluable information doesn't go through one ear and out the other. So stay tuned to the very end as we help you strategize. To be considered for a manager promotion, potentially sooner than later, you need to do this one thing. No, it's not working extra harder or being more productive. Being more productive in your current role will only do two specific things for you. Earn you overtime pay, if you're a non-exempt employee, and remove the notation that your department needs additional resources to support the workload in your department because you can handle it. Being more productive will surely shift those additional company budget dollars to another area in your company where additional resources are desperately needed. Because, oh, you, Mr. or Mrs. Productive, have proven you've got this and that you can do the work of two people. Round of applause for you. What a great year-end evaluation you will have for being a contributing team member. You can bet on that 2 to 3% raise, but without the manager promotion you were hoping for. Because working harder does not equate to management material. You know the rule of thumb. Work smarter, not harder. No, it's not showing up to work earlier than your colleagues and boss. You do that just for recognition and attention. A pat on the back or high five you might just get for your extra early arrival or even a shout out from your boss and maybe the feeling of personal gratification too for dodging the normal morning rush hour to clock into work early. For non-salary employees, arriving early can be viewed as your slick way of eating up overtime or clocking out of work early before your shift actually ends. But let's be real you will raise eyebrows. No manager role for you. And for the coworkers you know that do this, be relieved because they are not your competition for the next manager role. This old school work stunt of showing up to work early versus just being on time to be considered for a promotion is certainly a thing of the past. No, it's not staying late at work to prove to the execs that you're overly dedicated to the company's mission. Work-life balance is at the forefront. You're actually making your organization look bad as a top employer because they are truly focused on bringing in top talent by promoting work-life balance as a company benefit. Please stop working against your employer's top place for top talent strategy with this bad behavior. The key is to prioritize your workday and know that what doesn't have to be done today you will get done tomorrow. No, you won't get the promotion on the account of being a team player either. You're expected to be a team player, right? Why would the organization you work for promote you to a manager role for doing something you're expected to do, which is collaborate? Most organizations have shifted to not only an individual incentive plan, but also a one-team incentive plan. You know, receiving collective bonuses for achieving business objectives as a team. Being a team player is a manager's responsibility. But these days, being a team player will not be the very reason you are promoted to a manager. We're getting close. But no, it's not getting additional certifications and degrees. Though continuous learning is huge for your career, more training classes, certifications, and degrees will not guarantee you a manager role. 
but it will present you with opportunities for higher pay and intermediate to senior level roles, staying current in your industry and remaining competitive with new talent entering the workforce, but not securing the manager role. Your upskilling efforts simply inform your employer that you understand the concepts of whatever you learn that will lend itself to the work that you do. Continuous education is no guarantee that you are qualified to be a manager. No, it's not having outstanding job performance in your current role. You're supposed to do that anyway. Being a high performer is expected of you by your employer. And lastly, no, it's not networking and relationship building or rapport. Though these are plausible actions of professionals and part of most workplace cultures, you will not receive a promotion because you cultivated connections within the professional realm. And we have arrived. To quickly be promoted to the manager role, you must be performing the manager role already. You must demonstrate that you have the aptitude of managing by actually doing the work. To acquire the manager position, you must be performing the manager position. Your past and current workplace actions reveal to employers your future actions. They are looking for those with the experience and not those they will have to train. If you're in HR, you know that it costs way more to train an employee versus promoting one with the experience already, essentially saving the organization lots of money. So when interview time for the manager position comes around, you've got this in the bag because you'll be able to share how you're effectively performing the manager role already and not just hypothetically talking about what you will do if promoted. You see the difference? Interview panels don't care about what you will do if you are promoted. They want to know what you're doing right now. They can't count on your shoulda, woulda, couldas. They are counting on how you're delivering on the role's responsibilities now. When you don't officially have the title, the pay, or authority to go with it. You may be wondering, how the heck am I supposed to be doing the manager role when I'm not even a manager? The answer is rather simple. So we'll share a few things now and dive deeper in a future video. Ask your leader, what responsibilities can you take off their hands right now? Let them know to show you how to do it if you don't know how to already. Perform the task for them and continue to help them look good as a leader. Document your performance and discuss your performance in one-on-ones with your boss and in your mid and year end reviews. Let them know you wish to develop your skills and ask them if you can serve as their protege to learn and perform the job. Most good leaders will be quite flattered that you have asked them and will let you. If you don't have a good leader, find another leader at your organization that is willing to take you on as they will receive acknowledgement on their year end review for taking the time to develop others. Ask your boss, can you be in charge or handle their responsibilities when they're away from work or on vacation? So their work won't get delayed while they're away. Document daily in three to five sentences what you did for them each day they were out of the office, the fires you put out, and the customers and employee issues you handled. Email them the day before they return to work with your concise daily bulleted recap so they can digest what you've shared. Schedule a meeting with them so you can further discuss in person. Another way to start performing the manager role right now is to create a manager in training program if one does not already exist at your company. You can easily research online the basics of such a program and how to implement it. Pitch it to your superior as an employee development program and be one of the first to participate in the program when it's up and running to get the experience under your belt and to position yourself for the next manager opportunity. Future managers, you must be doing the role to get the role. 
get promoted quickly to a manager by performing the role now and doing it effectively. Employers are looking to promote employees into management that have the know-how and experience. They are not interested in your inexperience. They need someone today that can show up tomorrow morning to execute and deliver. Live One Co community. Now that you have this valuable information on how to quickly be promoted to manager, let us know in the comment section below what you plan to do with it. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss a video. Where we live, learn, and create.